So <clears throat> another thing I've noticed because I don't know, I guess I thought prophetic words was top two. Like, granted, I don't have to release them right now, but God is literally always talking about why he's not going to stop talking, you know? Um, I've, I've been noticing some of my patterns, right? And for me, like, I thought I was just playing a little dirt because I was trying to play anything that didn't, like, like, I would play worship music, let myself cry, and then I put t turn it on my, uh, you know, gangster music because I don't know, I don't want to be my feelings. And I thought I was just turning it on because of that. No, one of my patterns is whenever I start listening to them more heavily, I'm literally finna murk somebody in the spirit. And I think I told y'all that before. And I was like, I guess I forgot. And like, I had stayed up that night and I had prayed. And since that night, like, I've been dreaming. I'm either fighting or literally killing somebody or killing a demon in the spirit in my dreams. Or be by myself or on missions with my family. I was telling my mama, like, hey, we was on a whole mission. Like, I told y'all we had killed that dude who was playing with that girl. It was a demon. And, um, like, my brother shot the arrow. And I'm and that happens all the time. I'm like, where you come from? Like, listen, I'm like, what y'all be praying at night? Because it was like a group attack, you know? And so... That's a pretty cool pattern, I think, for me to pick up on. Because in real life, like, I'm not out here like that. But in the spirit, like, you can get it. You can get it. And listen, Dirk said something on one of them songs earlier. Because when I got done praying, I was hearing, uh-huh. Like, I was like, really, Megan? Really? But I, I mean, I listen to stuff like that. But he said something about his new ops and his old ops. And I was like, right. That's how it feel. It was like, you couldn't beat me. Now you're trying to team up with them other ones. Like, don't do that, you know? And then also in rumors, um, you know, he want the one that he paid for. That's how I be feeling. Like, I'm not going to be fighting y'all other little demons getting my way. I want the one I been said I wanted. Like, here, I just want to talk, you know? So that's how I kind of been in spirit. Um, and prayer works because that night when I, I didn't go to sleep the night we found out my uncle died. So I just kind of stayed up praying. And um, that night, even the warfare was heavy, like, I thought I was awake. This is how crazy this is. Y'all let me know if this is ever happening, y'all. I thought I was awake. And so, like, it was lightning a lot and, like, thundering, but it was, like, rumbling. Like, my house felt like it was shaking. And so I opened my eyes, but then I realized I was actually not awake. Like, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I was kind of like, you know how you can kind of almost get stuck? Like, I feel like the devil be trying to keep me like trapped in like the middle of like waking up and you know not and I be having to fight it and so I realized that that's what was happening I had to like jerk myself awake and um it felt so real I checked the weather because I was like is a tornado coming like my whole house felt like it was moving it wasn't nothing going on nothing like when raining outside nothing nothing on the radar I was like then why did it feel like a storm and God was like I was showing you in the spirit I was like oh right he was letting me see, like, it was, it felt like a whole storm. This is like five in the morning. Um, I also saw, really how it feels, right? And I also saw, like, these um, bomber jets, though. However, these heat-seeking missiles, there were so many of them, like, hitting them. So they couldn't draw bombs. Like, the heat-seeking missiles intercepted it like it was supposed to, and it... Do y'all get what I'm saying? So I was like, this is like five in the morning. Both of these like very strong. I would say that the the bomber one was like a vision. The other thing was like a somewhere in between. But um, he was just like, y'all's prayers is working. And I was like, because y'all know how to type that long prayer and put it in the community post. That was before five because I did not go to bed till like the morning time. And he was like, it's working. And that's something else you want me to tell y'all. Don't think your prayers aren't working. Like I'm telling you, once I realized like all them prayers... Even when I was praying for like the wrong spouse was hitting the right one. I was like, get out of here. And you might not see it physically yet, but it works. He hears them, heaven gets them, the angels move out, what needs to be done is done. You get what I'm saying? So don't stop praying. So that's really what's been going on. Like I thought my dreams was gonna stop being so warfare and insight to warfare. No. No. And I was like, God, I don't remember a time where it was consistently like this for weeks. Like at most it's like 10, 14 days and it stops and it goes back to yay, good dreams. Y'all, I have not had a yay, good dream in a minute. Like, well, that's not a hundred percent true. Last night it was a good dream and they were telling me what was about to happen. However, my ex was lurking and that happens a lot. So let's just, let's just talk about what's going on in dreams. 
it's like I know he's there and it's not necessarily him. It's like the spirits on him. I know he's there, but he's hiding and like he can overhear what people are saying. So last night in my dream, they were telling me all these things are about to happen. I was like, word? Like, really? And uh, he was there. And, I, and I'm and i finna, like, I do better when I ask God or when I pray at night. Like, hey, let me remember who I am when I go on my dream tonight. Because I'm finna, you know, like, hey, cool, next time I'm going to call him out in a dream. Like, next time, like, God, don't let me forget. And I'm going to be like, show yourself, you know? Um, that's another thing. I was going to do a prayer point on Instagram today. The unbinding, like, my, not only my spirit, and my spouses at night seems to be making a big difference. Um, praying that I keep the full armor of God on in my sleep. I be having to do that. And I hadn't done that in a minute. And I was like, maybe that's why the dreams have been extra crazy. Like, I have to pray that I remember who I am, whose I am, my power, authority, and anointing in my dream state. And I usually do when I pray that. Like, I'm getting, I'm not as thrown off when I enter the dream. It's not so crazy. Like, I just kind of got to. I'm like, okay, let's go, right? And I can remember, I'm, I'm take, but it's like I take the mental notes in the dream, so when I come out of the dream, I'm not struggling to remember it. You get what I'm saying? So that makes a big difference. Um, but I think I had said that in a long post, a dream about a lot of warfare, and he told me to run it back as lessons learned. Like, the girl that was trying to charm her way into my house, she was literally at the front door just smiling and so nice, and I was like, no. No, like I already knew, like I've already learned this lesson. No, people will befriend you. And that's why I put the, uh, they was never really rooting for me anyway. They will befriend you just to see like what you got going on, how you doing, what you doing, how God is moving, how he moving in your life. They not really your friend. They don't really care. They're just, they're, and they're so nice and they're so sweet and that don't fall for it. Pray about it. Okay. Um, then the, I keep seeing witches. The craziest stuff was happening in my dream. Uh, Saturday going into Sunday, I was like, yo, is this going on right now? Or like, what's up? Because another thing is God will show me the exact clothes that he want me to like get rid of or like what I need to put up. Like he will show me all of that in a dream. So, I mean, he's still been talking to me. It's just been a whole lot going on on so i called those videos the other day like it's a lot going on part one and part two and then when my cousin called me after i finished part two he said that i was like that's so crazy because i was just about to call the words i just recorded that and he was like really because it just feels like that like y'all whether you dream whether you uh see here in the spirit or whether you just kind of like picking up on it whatever you just getting words like the holy spirit just talking to you you feel it. It's just so much going on. And the reason why is because you, I hope y'all feel like the other side. Like, I've been so hyped. Like, my spirit is so excited. Um, it's like it's anticipating something. I already fell out two weeks ago and in the midst of falling out and just thanking God from the depths of my soul. I was like, what are you doing? Because <laughs> why Why is this coming? I didn't know what was going on. He keeps highlighting the first week of May. Like, if I see May 2nd or May 3rd, Again, May 4th might be in there a little bit too, but I keep seeing May 2nd and 3rd. When that happens, he's trying to tell me something. And I'm like, well, we're about to see what happened that week. Because I'm trying to get my hopes up, up right? But I'll be trying to notice patterns. At first, it'll be like my work calendar. Now, all of a sudden, everything is for those dates. And then somebody just invited me to something for those dates. And then I saw it randomly on the timeline. And I was like, what's happening on those days, right? So I don't know who need that. That might be confirmation for you. Um, what else has been going on? Like, I'm just excited. And so that's what I was saying in the first video. Like, it's such mixed emotions. Like, I'm sad. I'm crying. I'm grieving. I'm also really excited because he's doing all these really amazing things. I'm a little overwhelmed because of all the stuff. Like, I feel like I'm getting bombarded in the spirit. Like, but also, like, but what are you doing? Because something good is about to happen. Like, I can tell. Like, y'all, I can't even really articulate it. Like, I just know something about to happen. And I don't know what. Like, I just I just know, though. And that was the thing. When I was like, God, I don't remember my dreams ever just being, like, this crazy for this long, right? I, really, I wasn't really a dreamer for real again, like, until I moved into the house. And it was a lot of warfare. But usually, like, when you fall for a trap, you don't feel it like that. So, because I was entangled with somebody... I didn't feel it like that. Like, I moved into my new season and all that, but I brought an attack with me. Come on, Holy Spirit, right? And when I, when we're focused, like how we are now, and ooh, I know why I dreamt I was full, like, term, and then the baby disappeared. I figured that out today. I was like, oh, so no, not to do that, y'all. Don't, don't kick it. Don't kick it with him. I don't care. Don't talk yourself into it. It's just don't do it because God is moving on these men's. 
And besides that, that's not your man. But like, if you were to do it right now, do not do it. Okay. But that's why, like, he was like, first of all, you weren't even dreaming. I wasn't like, I knew that when I moved to my house, like I was tweeting about it. Like I'm about to get a journal so I can like figure out what's going on in my dreams. I hadn't dreamt in like four years, not consistently like how I dream now. See why I sleep with the TV off because if I are on because if I sleep with the TV off, my prayers be like, bam, thank you, ma'am. The whole me and the Holy Spirit be communing. I will dream five, six, seven movies in one sleep. Like, and sometimes that's so much for me. That overwhelms me. Okay, so God was saying, you don't remember the dreams ever being like this for so long because you you ain't never consistently been here to like dream while entering into such a new season. I have not, right? Um, like in high school and college, I dreamt, but I didn't take note of them. I didn't understand them. I didn't know it was God talking to me. I didn't know all of that, right? And so like by the time I got old enough to realize that, like I was so out of alignment, like this one dreaming, like the one no dreams to even, you know, take in, receive. So that's been going on, but like something definitely finna shake. Like it be sometimes throughout the day where I'm like, the confirmation has been insane, like, not like fall out crying insane, but like, I'm kind of scared because, I mean, that's what you were saying. And, and like, not only that, but like, that's what he said. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's going to happen? Like, that's how it kind of been. The confirmation has been deeper and stronger. And y'all know how your girl was just out here struggling. Like, what if I'm wrong? You know, I've only been getting more solid and sturdy in it. Like, whoa. You know, and I pray that for y'all as well. And I also pray that, come on, Holy Spirit, even if you're not necessarily like where I'm at right now and I'm hearing on the brink, <laughs> that that's why he has me going back so much because I was just not on the brink last year. And I want y'all to be encouraged of how quickly he's moving. Six months, everything can be different. A year, everything can be different. I, three months. Like I literally went from like, crying over them to like oh my gosh my dreams are coming true oh my gosh i never thought i would do this moving in silence that's important because it's a whole a lot of stuff okay like listen he moving so i just pray that it's always encouragement and confirmation because even if it's not confirmation for you all or not confirmation for you right in this moment i pray that it's encouragement because that's how i feel when i watch um different people like yeah and also remember it's, it'd be in different areas too right like some stuff like I need to learn this from you I need to learn this from you or I'm gleaning this from you I'm you know what I'm saying so like I just pray it's always positive over here um what else am I, I was gonna tell you y'all know it's already getting really hard for me to respond to the comments it, it y'all it's like texting people back right because I never want to just like not if you like if you leave emojis I'ma leave emojis, but if you say something, I want to read it and respond. So it's been kind of please hard. don't delete them. I haven't seen that in a while though. Like it had been times where I would read one and be like, "Where did it go?" Um, I'ma get to it. Now if it's three months later, and let's say that too, because the other day I had seen somebody comment because sometimes they don't show me on YouTube. I have to get on the studio app, and I seen somebody comment, and I'm here. I am responding two months later, but the video was I needed to watch it that day. Like so, God even still be in my respond back time okay or some of y'all will comment on an older video and i'm like yo that's crazy because he just told me to go back and watch that so y'all be confirming that too so like i'm just so thankful like i'm glad y'all are here like y'all like that's what i'm saying like it's been such a whirlwind of emotions like do i cry because i'm so thankful do i cry because I'm, I'm sad about my uncle like what and then feeling guilty because like i shouldn't be happy like you know what i'm saying like it's been a whirlwind of emotions so in love like we, i don't even want to talk about that sometimes i don't even want to talk about it because it's just so like hey like this different like sometimes i i just want to cry because all the warfare because i feel like the devil always at my neck but also realizing like maybe i should cry because i'm thankful because it don't get me like how it used to get me like y'all when i first moved in this house the sleep paralysis was so bad i couldn't sleep at night i didn't want to sleep with the lights off I'm not the same Megan. Do I cry because of that? What? Like, I'm so thankful. But life is hard. But like, God, you've been carrying me and making me tougher. He was like, he was saying warrior, warrior, warrior. I was like, why you keep saying that? Warrior, warrior. That's what he created me to be. I ain't just encouragement. That's why I did my intro like that. 
I'm going to encourage the mess out of us because I encourage the mess out of myself. I'm going to shoot. I am the spiritual sharp shooter. I don't know what area I'm shooting in sometimes, but once I know, like, engage, lock, target, let's go. Like, that just, come on, Holy Spirit. But I'm also going to fight. Like, it was like, it's like a ninja warrior lady. I be taking names and whooping tail, which is how this video started. Like, I was listening to Lil Durk again today. So I was like, Lord, who am I getting in my sleep tonight? Like, because I just feel it in my spirit. I feel it in my spirit. The things that have been bothering me, the demons that have been harassing me, like I said in the community post, like, no, no more. Don't let me catch you in these spiritual streets, poo. I've been listening to all the gangsta stuff. And and, and, and our, our, shoot, our spouses are just as turned, okay? Okay? What Lotto say in that song? Emma, he a stepper, he gonna kill about his... Okay? Like, listen. I don't just listen. Like, I like that music because it reminds me of spiritual warfare. That's why. Okay? No. She says, my he a stepper, he gonna die about his... And then Nardo Wick says he'll kill about his... That's what he says. Don't think your spouse is not out here on that with you. Them prayers doing damage, baby. I'm thankful because it's like, Lord, do I be upset because my dream was so crazy? Or do I just thank you that you're showing it to me? Right? Like, I see it. I can run back and be like, hey, like, this is what I dreamt. And I see how that makes a difference in our relationship. Y'all, I ain't never had that. Never. And it... We know what to pray for. I confirm things that maybe we don't eat. He might not even tell me that was confirmation. God will tell me like he needed to know you dreamt that, right? Who would have thought? See, we we really talking today. I hear you, Holy Spirit, because this is for my girls. Mm, I ain't going to cry. This is for my um, girls. You might not know who it is. You might know that God has called you. You might not even know how anointed that you truly are. But the world and other men, social media will make you feel like a godly woman is not a good thing. She's not desired. She's not wanted. Men don't like that. Be the case, the world and other men. But your man, your man, your man of God, he not only wants it, but he needs it. He appreciates it. He protects it. I was not this version of me when we were messing up and I wasn't getting it right and I was making mistakes. Granted, I'm still going to do those things, but it's a whole new version of Megan. The anointed version of Megan. The God comes first version of Megan. The Megan knows her worth, stands in it, does not settle. That unlocked what was going on in my kingdom spouse. Not me pretending to not be called. Not me pretending that I don't rock with Jesus the way that I do. Not me pretending that I'm not as anointed as I am. Your dream, man, your dreams, all of it is on the other side of surrendering to God. I know people are going to be like, how? Because I'd be like, how? I never thought I needed to really just go hide behind Jesus for, for my man to come and get me. Who would have thought that? Who would have thought that? I used to get mad when I heard people say that. Heather Lindsay and all them. I used to get mad. No, because like nobody going to want me. The type of man I want is not going to want me if I'm sold out for Jesus. Lies from the enemy. This is a man of my dreams. This is the same man I wanted before I even knew what was going on in life. My spirit still knew. I just had to learn and to grow and to really walk with God's Holy Spirit. Like, that's what it was. We got a whole kingdom assignment out here. It's bigger than us. Also, I keep hearing Inky Johnson saying, I never cheated. And how do you want to be remembered? That's for everybody. Put in the work. Don't cheat. Don't be trying to get over on people. I was thinking back to that last year. Two different people I was actually trying to work with, put on, do that. They was like just taken from me. One to date me. One actually doing the work. I don't go into anything with bad intentions. Got children don't do that. We don't cheat. And how do you want to be remembered? A legendary legacy. That's one of the first words God ever gave me over me and this man. And I thought it was like, 
just random. Like I thought it was just like, oh, he wanted me to tell you this. It took me time to learn and figure out, no, he was speaking to me and I was prophesying over us. How do you want to be remembered? Legendary legacy, whether it be y'all's children, the story about y'all's union, the business ventures, whatever. This is all for a reason. This has all been for a reason. Last year, couldn't have told y'all that. Megan, two years ago, definitely couldn't have told y'all that. That's the girl in here sleeping with the lights on, crying, didn't know how to fight back. Come on. Just listen. My dream the other night. Y'all know how we've been on the uh, the enemy roams around like a lion seeking whom he can devour? Why? Since I was a little girl, I have always dreamt that like lions and stuff was on the loose in the city of Huntsville. We would be on this one particular street and it would always be lions and I would be in my car, my mom and them car scared because I was a little girl. Over time, it would, it has changed. Like it would be like, I was, I'm always walking this same course in my dreams and it would be lions out and I would be scared. It would be like these really big cats. Um, the other night I dreamt of the same thing. Why wasn't I scared of none of the lions? Female and male. Wasn't scared or not, none of them. I'm going to walk this out. I'm going to go on this mission, go on this quest. And I was not scared. That's what the enemy tries to do. Intimidate you, scare you. So you like don't even come outside. Oh, I'm outside and I'm ready to fight. Like, it was a lot of them. I wasn't scared. So wherever you are in this, if you need to get delivered from fear, if you need to learn, because I also know that's another part of my calling, encouraging other people to walk in their calling, figuring out what it is, knowing that it don't have to look like everybody else's. Your voice don't have to sound like everybody else's. You don't have to do it like everybody else. You're unique, unique identifiers. Your experiences, your flow, everything about you is unique. Your story is unique, right? And I had to learn these things so I could go back and tell other people. I was pressed for all of this. And it's the fact that I'm in here testifying. I know God is moving because whenever I start to feel the urge to testify like this, he does something, okay? Know your patterns. You got to know your patterns, okay? Please know the warfare. Because every time I do that, it's always something incredible on the other side. It's either an idea, which for the ideas... Ask him, is this something you want me to execute now? Is this something for later? Because I struggle with that, okay? But on the other side of warfare, it's always ideas. It's always some level of breakthrough. Like after I got that virus and was sick like the rest of that week after that, when I came out of that in the physical manifesta manifestation of things for like the next few days, I was like, no wonder the enemy was at me like that. The way he beat me up on this one thing, I was like, this ain't going to work, God. Like, he told me how to get control of my health because the enemy kept trying me. I kept getting sick. I was like, this must going to change my life. Like, because why does this happen every single time? Been working out. Better for the mental attacks. Been drinking my water. Been doing the stuff that I'm supposed to be doing. One day at a time, y'all. One day at a time. All right, keep pushing. I posted this thing to Snapchat. Uh, I might just insert it in here because I, I don't remember what all I said, but. Keep pushing, okay? That's what I'm going to call this. Keep pushing. I know I said a lot, but I want y'all to keep pushing. And I can feel a cry coming on when I stop it. Like, sometimes I just know because I, I did the release on camera and the Holy Spirit gave me my composure. But please keep pushing. No matter where you find yourself, no matter if you feel like, or no matter if God is telling you you're on the brink, right? Or you feel like you're somewhere in the middle in a storm or you, you don't even know what's going on, right? Hey, because I got to recognize that too. I just thank God for using me. I thank him for that. Like, it's hard being transparent. It's hard being transparent on a public platform where people are constantly like, so this is something I'm going to leave it at this, he is literally sending his children in. And so some people get upset like, um, you're like, 
it, different examples like um, you're not prophetic. You're not a prophet because you do the influencer piece or um, you're not this because you doing this. How, would you rather people do those jobs that don't know the Lord? Would you rather all influencers just not be so open about their faith? Shouldn't we be happy that he is sending his children into these arenas? I'm just going to use that example because I got another one, but I'm going to just hold off on that. Shouldn't we just be happy that he's sending his children in? So, y'all, I'm still learning a lot. That's what I told the babies. Don't ever think Miss Megan. That's what I told them. Miss Megan not learning and growing too because she is always going to be. But just keep pushing, okay? So, I'll let y'all. I'll see y'all when I see y'all, okay?